Have you ever had a hot dog steamed in beer? If you were living in South Florida from the 1950s through the 1970s, you'd know exactly where to go. Lums. Lums was a restaurant chain that was known for their signature hot dogs steamed in beer and their Ali Burger, which was one third of a pound of lean meat seasoned with 32 spices and a special sauce. In 1956, Cliff Perlman, a U.S. Army vet and small-time lawyer in Miami, teamed up with his brother Stewart and purchased a 16-seat diner on the main strip of Miami Beach. The restaurant was a hit, and the brothers began to expand rapidly. The Perlman brothers had opened four locations by 1961. Lum's specialty dog cost just 35 cents. An extra dime got you sauerkraut on top. The Lum's menu also offered fried seafood, hot roast beef sandwiches, a submarine, and burgers. Lum's also served beer in frosted mugs. The international beer selection was a unique hook. Long before the craft beer craze, Lum's had an amazing array of imported beers. In 1969, the Perlmans were taking their pioneering fast casual franchise public on the New York Stock Exchange. The brothers also purchased Caesars Palace, a 500-room hotel and casino in Las Vegas for $60 million. Cliff was the president and CEO of Caesars Palace until 1982. The brothers were also involved in other gambling resorts in Lake Tahoe and Atlantic City. They are known for creating the first publicly held gaming company and the financial structure for Las Vegas' casino industry as it exists today. Two years after they purchased Caesars Palace, the Perlmans sold Lums so that they could focus more on their new endeavor. They sold the company to John Y. Brown, who was the chairman of Kentucky Fried Chicken at the time. Lums at this point had reached their peak with over 400 locations around the country. Brown sought to improve the menu and searched America for the perfect hamburger. Brown was the one responsible for bringing the Ali Burger to Lums. He bought the secret recipe for $1 million from the creator, a man named Oliver Glickenhaus, who had served them at his Miami Beach shop for decades. In 1976, to appeal to more of an audience, the children's Stars and Stripes menu was introduced. Each food item on this new menu was named after a founding father, or at least a play on their name. For a time in the 1970s, the company's commercial spokesman was comedian Milton Berle. He starred in commercials for the chain taking pies to the face, and dressing in drag. John Y. Brown oversaw Lums for most of the 70s. However, while his chicken chain flourished, Lums struggled. By 1978, the number of Lums was down to under 300. This same year, 1978, Brown sold Lums to Wienerwald Holdings, a Swiss holding company and parent of the Wienerwald restaurant chain. Unfortunately, in 1982, this company was forced to file for bankruptcy. The many locations were too much for Wienerwald to handle. On top of that, competition from other restaurant chains and menu changes resulted in various Lums locations losing business. By the 1980s, many had closed as the franchise folded. The original Lums location closed in 1983. There were several Lums in Florida, and the last one in Davie, Florida closed in 2009. In 2010, a Lums opened in Seekonk, Massachusetts, but later closed, 
leaving the Bellevue, Nebraska restaurant as the sole location, which has been in operation since 1968. Through the later years, little remained of the original menu, and there were no hot dogs steamed in beer. It too finally closed in 2017. Unfortunately, there are no Lums locations left, but you can still reminisce about eating those delicious beer-steamed hot dogs, that is, if you were lucky enough to experience Lums. <laughs>